Hi, my name's Gordon Farrelly from Willoughby Council. I'm the Traffic and Transport Team Leader. This video is just to provide a brief explanation of the proposed Castle Cove to Chatswood Bicycle Route Improvement Plan. Here we are at uh, the eastern end of the bicycle route at Camaray Road at the starting point of Explosives Reserve. From this point we head towards uh, Near M Road and then to Denewin Road, Deepwater Road and then Castle Cove Drive through to and across Eastern Valley Way, Smith Street and then to High Street. Today I'm just going to briefly explain at certain points the actual proposal. In Camaray Road we're going to provide what's known as a mixed treatment. What that means is that we just have bicycle logos on the road to provide uh, guidance to bicycle riders of the most direct, safest and connected route between Castle Cove and uh, the end point of this uh, route. Now you may wish to use it if you're a resident, you may wish to go to the shops or for recreational reasons or to go and visit the parks and the tennis courts or even head towards Chatswood. We hope that the actual bicycle route will then be, become a choice for our residents and their visitors to use bicycles to uh, uh, ride within the Willoughby area. This is one of our uh, suite of important projects that we're progressing within uh, Willoughby Council. So I'll just start off and uh, I'll sit, stop along the route and provide some advice at certain points. Well, that was a pleasant ride, pretty uphill there. Look, if you can't make it, it's fine to get off your bike and walk up the steep parts. Essentially, now we've reached Nareem Road, just past Deepwater Road. This area of Nareem Road is still on-road mixed treatment, where we just have bicycle logos along the route. What that does is actually provide guidance to the bicyclists that if they follow this route, it'll be the most direct and safest route, but also gives drivers an indication that they may encounter bicyclists as they drive along. Now that's a, an accepted treatment on a quiet local street like Nareem Road and Camaray Road. These roads have relatively low traffic volumes that will allow a safe movement of both the bicyclists and motor vehicle riders. So I'll now continue along Nareem Road to Denouin Road. Thank you. So here we are at Nareem Road. And what we've done is just passed two parked cars uh, parked next to each other. Now that can occur along the Ream Road and Camaray Road, and that's quite okay. What that does though, with the uh, proposed on-road mixed treatment, is it actually creates a slower speed environment for uh, all road users, including motor vehicles and uh, bicycle riders. Now that's one of the principles that we're trying to achieve with the plan, is to create a slow speed environment that will create a safer environment for bicyclists and also a more attractive environment for residents and their visitors to ride bicycles around. Now, in addition to the, the parking arrangements that we've, I've just given past, there's also uh, curves along the road and also uh, the sort of dips 
that occur along the road and they all influence the speed of motor vehicles. At some locations we're proposing to provide other measures like where I am right now where there is proposed to be what's known as speed cushions which are raised like uh, little islands in the road which then encourage drivers to slow on their approach cross them and then keep going. Now that's again all about trying to create a slow speed environment to uh, increase safety for bicycle riders and other road users as well. Now there's two sets proposed along the Ream Road. Here where I am and then further towards the west towards Denouan Avenue uh, and uh, we think that they provide a positive uh, measure to increase safety. Okay, see you down the road. Oh, here we are in Denwan Avenue. Look, we've got the church on my left, you've got the park on my right with the small shops. Again, Denwan Avenue is part of the route. It connects Nareem Road with Deepwater Road and it will have on-road mixed treatment again. That means just bicycle logos on the route just to provide a guidance to bicyclists and a strong indication to both cyclists and to drivers that they are, have to share the road in a safe manner and uh, hopefully that leads to uh, safety. Now one of the reasons why we've chosen this route is that we have the park here, we've got community uh, facilities, we've got shops and part of the bicycle plan is to encourage people to ride to these facilities. Now what we need to do is provide a safe, connected, convenient, uh, attractive route and part of the plan is trying to achieve that through the provision of on-road mixed treatment here. I'll keep going then, I'll see you at Deepwater Road. That was quite pleasant. We're now in Deepwater Road on a flat stretch of the route. It is a wider road, Deepwater Road, compared to uh, Nareem Road and Camaray Road, so you won't experience the same level of uh, you know, narrowness that those roads have. Essentially, the cyclists can be on one side of the road with the cars and uh, they can travel in both directions essentially without any problems. There'll still be on-road treatment here, so bicycle logos, but at certain locations, because of the width of the road and the length being reasonably long and a straight stretch, we're proposing raised thresholds to then create a slower speed environment. And what that does then is not only for uh, motor vehicle drivers, but also for cyclists in particular, again, create a slower in uh, road environment, a more attractive environment to ride upon. Uh, it's still part of the connected route, and we then hope to then uh, encourage this route as uh, a good cycling route uh, towards Castle Cove Drive. I'll keep going and I'll see you on Castle Cove Drive. So here I am in Castle Cove Drive, uh, had a pleasant r ride along Deepwater Road, um, had to follow the road rules to go through the roundabouts, uh, but in Castle Cove Drive, because of the uh, higher volume of traffic that goes to and from Deepwater Road and Eastern Valley Way, we're proposing to create uh, what's called a shared path where I'm standing. Essentially uh, replacing the current footpath with a wider shared path, which permits a cyclist, like I would be, and a pedestrian to walk together legally between Deepwater Road and Eastern Valley Way. Now the, site, the actual shared path 
meanders through and along Castle Road Drive. And as you can see, behind me there's trees. It would be a lovely uh, ride as I see it. Uh, but it requires uh, the path to be changed to a shared path. And that is to ensure safety of cyclists, all the different type of cyclists that we're trying to encourage. Sort of adopting a eight to 80 principle. So anyone that is attracted to ride a bicycle uh, can use the route and the shared path. And increasingly with uh, improved bicycles and even electric bikes, more and more people are, are wanting to ride a bike. So this would be uh, an important part of the route, but it's off the road. Okay, see you. So here we are at the corner of Eastern Valley Way and Castle Cove Drive. We've just finished our pleasant ride down the shared path of Castle Cove Drive. We come to this corner. You'll see that Eastern Valley Way is a major road, very busy. We need to actually uh, encourage safe bicycle movements uh, across this uh, road and along this road. So what you, we are proposing is that bicyclists actually ride across using the traffic control signals, across Castle Cove Drive and then across Eastern Valley Way and then we'll have a shared path along Eastern Valley Way on the western side, along the good guys side between Castle Cove Drive and Smith Street. Smith Street between Eastern Valley Way and High Street. We've gone through uh, the shared path along Eastern Valley Way on the western side, crossed at the traffic signals at Smith Street, and now come up on the southern side of Smith Street. We're nearly at the end of the route uh, because the western end of the plan is High Street. It's proposed that uh, where I am on the southern side of Smith Street would also become a shared path. The reason for that is that Smith Street is a very busy road. It's part of the industrial area and increasingly having shops that attract uh, more of a, a retail type of a use. And that means that some of the potential bicycle riders may wish to come to these shops. So we've now come to the western end of the Castle Cove to Chatswood Bicycle Improvement Plan. We're at the intersection of High Street and Arara Street. To get to this point, we've traveled up the shared path on the southern side of Smith Street, and then traveled on the, if we're heading towards the north, from the bicycle lane, from the High Street shops, uh, we've then come on to the shared path, but it's a one-way shared path, heading north where we are, down towards the intersection of Smith Street and High Street. Or if you're heading southbound, you continue on the shared path and you turn uh, left into High Street and then join the on-road bicycle lane. We believe those facilities will then connect our bicycle network to then allow cyclists of any type to ride safely along shared paths and across roads to then get you uh, in a connected, amenable and attractive way between Castle Cove and Chatsworth. Thank you for your time.